I, you know, um, I'm speaking about the ideal of marriage, you know, I'm not sure what happened, but, uh, this video is for my wife, you know, uh, I'm not sure if the name is April Williams or not, you know, since different people seem to have used those names for, I don't understand, you know, uh, I've watched some videos, you know, some of the messages that I heard was that, you know, it, uh, I never told my wife to be attached to children, you know, because I'm not attached to children. And it was like, you know, it's not fair, you know, in a relationship for, you know, someone to uh, be attached to minor children or just other people, you know, in those situations, you know, like, like I'm in a room and it's just me. I'm not attached. I don't need a Duke buddy or a homeboy or a homegirl, you know. It's like when you have a problem or something bad is going on. If you like, I got to go talk to my friend. I can't talk to you right now. Or I got to go talk to somebody else. I can't talk to you right now. It's like stuff like that. It's like some people say that, you know, that's cheating. That's cheating. If she says she can't talk to you about it and she got to go talk to somebody else, it was like keeping secrets is cheating. You know, that's what, that's what some people said, you know. That means she said if she had something she needed to talk to somebody about, she would rather talk to somebody else than to talk to you. She not the one for you if she do stuff like that. It's the way somebody explained it to me, you know. It was like because out of all the people in the world who she could talk to, if you're her husband, you know, why would she want to talk to somebody else instead of you or Brandy? It's the way it was explained to me, you know. It don't matter if they say they her sister, her brother, her family. If it's not God, you know, the same God that I believe in, then something is wrong, you know. So, you know, uh, it was like, I'm not sure of what other people did or what they do or why they did it, but, you know, some of the people was like, you know, uh, it seems like someone else has an attachment to something that I do not, you know. It's like, I'm the type of person that was like, you know, I never had any secrets you know, a secret, you know. They were like, some people was like, you got to get them before they get you. Like, it was some kind of battle or something. The way I was told about marriage, it was like, marriage is not a battle. Your wife is not supposed to do better than you, and you're not supposed to do better than her in a competition, competing with each other, you know, and I'm not making any gang signs or any stuff on my hand or whatever. So, you know, just to make that clear, whatever, just making it clear, whatever you call it, you know, this, that, or whatever. It, it, it doesn't mean any special cold words when I say this stuff because some people be saying this and that and all this stuff. I don't know what they be talking about, you know. So, you know, some people say that, you know, she, she wasn't supposed to have a double life or a secret life, you know, the same way I don't, you know. It was like, you know, uh, there was never a person, you know, that I was talking to in secret, you know, with other plans outside of being married, you know. 
it was never a girl and it was never a guy that I would go and talk to about other girls and other guys and not being married and stuff like that, you know. And it was like some a lot of people know about this because it was like, you know, some people wanted to say I was a bad person so bad that they went ask the whole bunch of people. They say they did it in 2015, 2016, and 2017 when I was in jail. They say a lady said she was a prosecutor or a district attorney in a court case, and she tried to find somebody, you know, to say bad stuff about me, and she couldn't find anyone, you know. It was like something was wrong with what they did with my marriage license and what they did with the marriage and you know it was something about a chick fraud in september of 2015 october of 2015 and it was like when a person was in jail since august of 2015 all of 2016 and i did not get out of jail until February of 2017, and the person that calls himself a district attorney and a prosecutor could not find even one person with any actual evidence of me doing bad. It was like something is very wrong with those situations because different people said they was April Williams. Different people had different kinds of attachments to different stuff. You know, it was like something was wrong with, you know, the way they tried to, you know, accuse people of stuff. Something was wrong, you know. I don't. I don't know what was wrong, you know, but uh, it was like, who was the person that he would talk to, you know, outside of a marriage, you know, even if the person was not his wife, even if the person was not April Williams, if somebody was there saying she was April Williams and saying she was his wife and she was really not his wife, who was the other person that, you know, some people said for better or for worse, I'm the type of guy that was in a relationship, all I had was a piece of paper, a marriage license. And I never accused my wife of being the bad person, you know. You know, it's crazy. It was like, he didn't even have service on his phone. And when he did, he didn't even talk to other people on the phone. It was like, the person who was there was not your wife and she stole all of the time from your wife. Something is very wrong with what she did because a guy actually being faithful to the idea of marriage, if a girl was cheating on you the whole time, had other people children, if she was working with the police and she was the reason you got locked up every time, and she was just playing you the whole time, and I actually put up with all of that stuff. And if she was not your wife and she was just using the name April Williams and a marriage license, she did wrong is what they say. But it was like, it's rare that you find someone, you know, with the character of being married with the marriage license since 2004, you know. And then, you know, I'm the type of person that said, a person said it was before 2004 and before I got the marriage license, when I got married, you know, and it, the marriage license on 2004 was just, you know, so that it would be evidence on paper, it was like, Somebody else tried to make a confusion of the situation and it was not me, you know. It was like, 
I'm not attached to any children. You know, I'm not attached to Yatrell. I'm not attached to Lord Gerald Jensen. I'm not attached to Trinity Jensen. So they was like, if a person says she's your wife, she's not supposed to be attached to Yatrell Jensen. She's not supposed to be attached to Trinity Jensen. She's not supposed to be attached to Lord Gerald Jensen. It would not be fair. You know, those types of situations, you know. It was like, you know, how many times did you storm out, you know, and go and be like, I can't talk to you. I got to talk to somebody else, you know. You know. I can't say that I did. Was the person who said their name was April Williams there? You know, did she ever do that? Mm-hmm. Like, something seems wrong with this situation. She's not supposed to have attachments to other people, especially if I don't. You know, situations like that. It was like, whenever you went anywhere, did she tell you to go there? Did she tell you to go to Atlanta when you was in Cane Creek Apartments? Hmm. Did she tell you to go to those strip clubs? Hmm. So she told you to go to Atlanta. She told you to go to those strip clubs. She told you to go to um Haven Inn. She told you to go to Bay Money. You was in Macon, Georgia all this time and you never went to those places. Was she your wife? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It doesn't seem like it. It seemed like it was sexual abuse, you know. Because when I went to those places, it seems like I was sexually abused in those places. Like, why would she tell you to go there? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what happened. When you went to visit the children at church on November 29th, did she come with you? Mm-mm. Not that I know of, not that I didn't really see it that way. Hmm. I'm like, so all of the stuff that she actually did when she would go other places and she would do other stuff and she would be attached to people, she told you to do the stuff so that it would seem like you were, that you did the same. They were like, it don't work that way. She can't tell you to do other stuff so that it would seem like you did the same thing. Because the same way I didn't tell her to go do the stuff when she did it, and it was her body and her choice, it would have had to be something that I chose to do on my own without her telling me or influencing me. It was like, if a situation was set up in advance, you know, where they said, that Antoine Jensen dude and that Aldrin Jensen dude did something to one of Williams, and a Jensen person did something to a Williams person, so since a Brandon had the name Jensen, a Williams person tried to do something to him that was bad. It was like, all of that stuff is wrong. It's wrong because it's not my character, you know? And like, when I went to Avenue E, somebody kicked me in the penis and started a fight there, you know? And when I went to Avenue E and in the year 2003, somebody punched me in the face. I think it was in the month of May of 2003. And started the fight there. It's like they kept on trying to start a fight with you. Something about the Williams people versus the Jensen people. I'm not part of those fights and stuff like that, you know. You can't get revenge against me for a fight that you started, whether it was on August 9th, 2015, or whether it was on Avenue E when I got kicked in the penis. Or whether it was something that a person named Antoine Jensen or Aldrin Jensen did to a person named Tawana Williams. It was like, but it seems like those are the, you know, it seemed like that's the stuff that they tried to do, you know. It was like, I never had a secret life, you know. So it was like, she wasn't supposed to have a secret neither. She wasn't supposed to have a secret, secret plan of leaving you or setting you up or doing stuff behind your back, you know, the same way I didn't have a secret plan. It was like, you've been in this hotel long enough to be like, Brandon don't got no secret plan. 
He ain't got no Williams to go. He ain't got no group or no team of people that, you know, physically be here in person that you can see that he be talking to, that, you know. He didn't, he didn't have a girlfriend or somebody on the side or some kind of sit up or whatever or something like that. It was like, so if she did and she had a car to jump in or somebody to drive off with or some plan in advance, then it don't seem like she was your wife. It does seem like it was some kind of abuse and sex abuse and somebody pretended to be your wife. Because the same way I didn't have a secret life and a secret plan and a secret getaway and a secret escape, she wasn't supposed to have one either, you know? So it was like something seems wrong in the situation. So I was told I didn't do wrong, you know, and that, you know, so